morning best friends good morning so it's your girl in the same outfit the exact same outfit as yesterday because I'm driving I'm alone okay I already feel gross nothing's gonna help me not feel gross so I'm just gonna wear the same clothes okay less laundry for me come at me about it yeah that's right back up <laughs> Back up! <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, I'm a little salty. <laughs> I'm a little salty right now because I'm sabotaging my own happiness in the sense that I'm not stopping at any of the cemeteries that I'm passing. Even the ones that are like right off the flipping freeway, I'm not stopping at them and it's making me so sad. I'm, I'm a cemetery girl and not just like for cute for fall, but like all year round cemetery girl. And I've just been passing them by like willy nilly, like nothing's happening. Like they're not even there and I just feel like crap. So I'm feeling a little bit salty about that. A little bit salty and then also, freaking Joanna from the girl jo Joanna watching this is like me but that song from Sweeney Todd the demon barber of Fleet Street is stuck in my head oh my gosh it's been stuck in my head all day specifically the part where he's like um I feel you Joanna Then when he's like, <laughs> and when I'm with you there, I'm with you there, buried sweetly in your yellow hair. And like, he's super like convicted, you know? And then Johnny Depp is like, um, and are you beautiful and pale with yellow hair like her? I'd want you beautiful and pale the way I dream. You were Joanna. The whole, the whole thing like is stuck in my head, but specifically where he's like, I'll steal you. I love that part, he's so fine. It's like, steal me, steal me. Come steal me, try it. I'll be like, me? He's like buried sweetly in your yellow hair. And I'm like, this? <laughs> Just throws on a wig, like me? Anyway, what's his name? Jamie, Jamie Campbell Bauer, I think is his hot name or his name. Excuse me. Um, woof, da, poof, that lemon squeezy. Yeah, that is a cute boy. Totally my type. Like, I mean, okay, here's the thing. I've never had a type. I like everyone. I like everybody, okay? <laughs> I like how they look all the time, everyone. Um, hottest guy I've ever seen my fiance hands down hottest guy ever that being said I like everybody <laughs> I don't like everybody but like I think everybody is cute like no matter what you know I don't know anyway long story so what was I saying <laughs> I'm saying I don't have a type is what I'm saying not that I like everybody or I think everybody's cute or I have a crush on everybody or whatever but I just don't have a type I like everyone and that being said though there was a specific kind of person that I liked every time <laughs> when I was growing up and that was long hair light colored eyes big puffy lips oh oh <laughs> sold wow you know what I mean me you yeah that was it anyway wow hello <laughs> how are you guys doing um <laughs> oh my gosh wow nobody direct this vlog to <laughs> anybody i know because i'll be embarrassed <laughs> except my friend Rochelle she will not be surprised if you're watching this hey girl <laughs> you can tell what kind of a mood I'm in oh my god
anyway, hi. Um, I don't know what else to say. Should I talk about other people that I think are hot? No, I shouldn't. I could make it like a, a Mads ASMR. I could make it like a who can get it any day kind of video. <laughs> That's what she calls it, not me. Uh, but yeah, she always talks about who can get it any day of the week. And it's various celebrities and stuff. I could make that a series. Who Brooke screams about. <laughs> Who Brooke screams and laughs about. I like her title better. I do, I do. Wow, anyway, so I was... <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm sorry. So I was so bummer last night that I didn't make it to Missouri. It was my one goal to make it to Missouri. I was like, damn it, I didn't make it. I'm so far away. And then this morning I start driving and it's literally four minutes into my drive and it says, welcome to Missouri. I was like, yes, I basically made it. I basically did. I thought I was way further away than that, but I've been on the road for about an hour just about an hour and I woke up late okay so here's the thing I did not I did not okay I woke up no alarm before seven o'clock and I was just like oh cows hey cows moo so beautiful I woke up before seven o'clock and I was feeling well rested I was feeling good I was like sweet I'm gonna go to a um Oh, what is this truck gonna do? Are you gonna be an ass? Yep, he is. Ass. But he, really? Like, why you gotta be like that? Ass. Um, so, anyway, I wake up before seven feeling well rested. I was like, sweet, I'm gonna go get breakfast. I'm gonna go to the gym. Breakfast is until nine, so I'll probably go to the gym first and then grab breakfast at the end and then I'll leave. And then I wake up and it's 10 o'clock. I was like, what? Like, I don't even remember being like, oh, I feel sleepy. I'm gonna go lay back down. Like, I don't even remember that. But apparently I did and I fell back asleep and I woke up at 10 and breakfast was over at nine. So I didn't even get my bagel. Are you kidding me? I was so bummed. So I haven't eaten yet. I'm a bit hungry. I'm a bit hungry. But if I stop somewhere for gas or to pee or whatever, I'll try to make it. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. I've literally never burped before. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, now I have hiccups. Oh Lord. So embarrassing. It's like a, my body has human functions. We can't have that. So I, yeah, if I stop, I'll make sure to stop at like a caribou or something and get like a, oh, if they have caribous down here. I think they do. But yeah, I'll try to get like a vegan breakfast sandwich and a coffee or something. Because that's what I really, if you guys couldn't tell, I am so not with it. Um, I need more caffeine. That's the, that's the key because clearly I'm like, I'm tired. I'm not very animated. <laughs> I just, I'm just like existing like a little zombie. Need caffeine. <laughs> oh my God. This is one of those videos where it's like, you look at it and you're like, she's gotta be like high, right? Or not me. Just nuts. <laughs> Just nuts. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. It's Gucci Tucci Lemon Squeezy Doodle Doo. So, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I didn't get breakfast today. I left later than I wanted to, but it's fine. I'm still leaving like three hours earlier than I left yesterday. So that's like a plus -aroo. Um, Hopefully, I'll be driving from... Let's see, I started at about 11, 15, okay? So we'll do like 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hopefully I'll go like eight hours today. 
drive till seven, stop, and then I'll have about four hours to do tomorrow. Easy, bite-sized little chunk, fun size. So yeah, that's the plan. I didn't film last night in my hotel room. I was just tired. I showered, I ate a sandwich. It was a surprise sandwich. I, I filmed this part earlier and I'm not sure if I said this in this video or in my previous one that I deleted, but I was really hungry because I hadn't eaten yet, but I was like, I'm not gonna order any food. Like, I don't wanna spend the extra money. If I'm really, really hungry, I'll just heat up like one of the vegan egg patties that I have here and you know, whatever. I'll just, I'll just make something work. I'll eat tofurkey out the package something if I get really hungry but either way like I'll be fine and then I opened my my cooler to unpack everything and put it in the fridge and what do you know I forgot I had a surprise sandwich CJ ordered me a Jimmy John's sub and I put tofurkey and cheese on it and I was gonna eat it on the road but then I forgot to eat it on the road and so it was a surprise sandwich for when I got to the hotel like it was so nice so I ate my surprise sandwich I showered I did a face mask and then I went to bed. So I was feeling good about that and yeah, but I didn't film a video. I did not. I just, I was too sleepy. I didn't do my nails either. I'm gonna do my nails tonight. Although they are still looking just fabulous fierce. <clears throat> fabulous fierce, incredible. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a nude a nice nude color. I brought some pearls too so that I can add some pearly details to each nail, which I'm excited. What just hit me? A freaking hummingbird? It was huge. Massive. Um, yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. But I did bring like multiple colors. I just think that they're colors that I've already done recently because I just grabbed a bag that had a few colors in it because I knew it had that nude color that I'm looking for in it. But I think it had like the icy blue that I recently did, the rosy, goldy pink color that I did. And then uh, that was just on my like regular stubby nails that wasn't on like these nails. And then I think it has the nude and maybe like one other color in it. So I'm not sure. I have the, I have every right to change my mind up until the time comes. I was gonna do black and then, cause I've been in like the spooky mood for the last like three weeks. No, three months. <laughs> and I've been wanting to do black but I feel like they don't stand out as much on camera and I like them to stand out. And so I was like, okay, I'll just do a nude because that'll go with everything. And then my dumbass, I was just like, idiot, like, hello. It's not like that won't stand out on camera either because it's nude. It's beige, dude. Oh, well, it's fine. So I am driving here. I've got about 12 hours left of the drive. 800 miles but it's flying by honestly you guys I'm feeling good I'm feeling fresh I'm feeling funky it's flying by it is going great there was an antique shop right off the freeway you guys yesterday and I passed it at like eight o'clock so bummed because I was just like if this was three hours earlier I would stop or four hours earlier I would stop a hundred percent because it was like a big antique store and I love antiques you guys so if I do see another antique place right off the freeway I am stopping so I'll be keeping my eye out it's noon now so I'll be keeping my eye out for the next like five hours or so seeing if there is anybody open because I will stop don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with a good time. I'll do it. Yeah. But then I stopped at a gas station this morning and I grabbed a Celsius and then I saw that it was three for six fifty. So I was like, oh, okay. so I grabbed three. I grabbed a watermelon, a kiwi, guava, and an orange because those were the three flavors that they had. So I picked those up and I put them in my put them in my cooler 
one of them I'm drinking right now, the watermelon. So, weird, it felt like my car slowed down. It says on my, don't you hate that when like, you haven't seen a sign in a while, so you're not sure what the speed limit is, but the last one you saw was let's say like 55, and now you're looking at your like directions, your navigation, and it says 65, and you're like, am I going super slow, and the speed limit changed, and I just didn't see it, or like, is the computer wrong? Because the computer can be wrong all the time. It's wrong most of the time, I feel like. I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, there's a speed limit sign coming up here. Let's see what it says. Oh, this guy is losing shit. Left and right. Plastic bags and such. Oh, it is 65 here. Hey, hey. What's up, queen? Look out. All right. 71 it is. So, if you are still watching, if you made it through my my rant, rave, and ramble about um, squealing like a middle schooler, about boys with big puffy lips and um, light colored eyes and long dark hair, then uh, yeah, if you're still here right now, you are a, a good friend. You are a friend of mine. Make sure to leave me a comment down below saying like, uh, with like, I don't know, let's say a, what emoji do you want to leave? Leave like a, an alien emoji, leave an alien emoji in the comments. And that way I'll know that you guys are like true, unique alien species. If you can put up with me and be my friend. How, what's it, 17 minutes? Ooh, I don't know. That's pushing it. I don't know how many people will be here. But if you are here, please leave an alien emoji in the comments down below. I want to see. I want to see how many of you guys can put up with that. Put up with me, you know? <laughs> oh, it's not easy. Tell you what, if it's not easy for you to listen to, it's not easy being me, okay? I'm wild, man. I'm crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. <laughs> ah, I'm not, though. I swear to you, I'm, I'm so much worse. <laughs> I saw that in a, um, like a meme, I think, at one point. It was like, I'm not like other girls. I'm literally so much worse. <laughs> and that's me. That is so me. Oh, there are a bunch of cows. And they're like underneath a tree, huddled under the shade, all laying down together. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. That is so precious. I love that. <sighs> well, 80 miles on this road, no big deal. No biggie. No biggie smalls. Oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy from, my eyes are too, from the allergies. Yeah, that's cute, huh? I don't know why, but typically if I get allergies, it's not even like springtime allergies, it's almost always fall. Like September is when my allergies are the worst, I feel like but that could just be me. And I don't know what blooms in the fall or what, I don't know what I'm allergic to. I just know it's something seasonal, some kind of seasonal allergy. In. I think that's the word in German. That's the word that just came to my mind. It could be a made up word. Cause why would I know what allergy was in German? Why would I have learned that? <laughs> allergy. In. Is that a word? Girl. I don't know. I do not rightly know. Ich habe keine Ahnung. That means I have no idea. So, or actually that's like, that's not, it would be, ich habe keine Idee would be technically like, I have no idea. But I, ich habe keine Ahnung would be like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> you know, I 
have nothing at all to say about that. I would say it would be like, I have no answers, but isn't answer Antwerpen or and yeah, Antwerpen? I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes words come to my mind, like certain words that either like completely are not the right word or words like, um, I don't know, like when I'm singing that new song where it's like Doja Cat and she's like, it's paint the town red and she's like, ooh, she's the devil instead of saying that I literally in my head sing it as like ooh der Teufel <laughs> which is like the devil and I don't know why because I haven't spoken German in years but man do I miss it I miss being able to speak another language that was fun it was fun maybe I'll take a German class with my daughter or something relearn some stuff I'm sure it would come back to me, not easily, but like I did learn it for three and a half years or four years or whatever. So it's like, it should come back relatively quickly, you know, it should ring some bells, ring a ding, ding, some bells, who knows? Or I could listen to it and be like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> But like everybody in Germany grows up learning English as a second language, like in school, everybody does. So even like, let's say a 40, 50, 60 year old German, they know a little bit of English, right? They know at least a little bit because um, they learned it as a kid. So let me see here, the speed limit slowed down. So I just wanna make sure I'm, abiding so yeah like I remember when I stayed in, with my host family in Germany the dad barely knew any English like barely he had some stories that he told me that um, were in they were in very much Danglish like Deutsch English German English and I could understand him and it, one time I had the uncle of the family pick me up from, which is crazy now looking back, but the uncle who I had never met before spoke no English. And I remember riding back with him and he, we were talking and he spoke literally not a word of English. And I remember having a conversation with him and being able to understand everything he said and just being like, am I fluent? Am I fluent? Did I just like literally just spend 30 minutes in a car speaking to this man? Like that was crazy to me. And yeah, but the dad, I remember he told me a story about going to Las Vegas. And he said that he was in the middle of the desert. And he said, uh, Und ich habe eine, and then he was like, uh, the, 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 a, vasa, a, a big water I, I saw or I see a big water and I remember just like trying to piece the pieces together and having basically come to the understanding that he was saying he was in the desert and he had a mirage like he saw water in the desert that wasn't there but it was like trying to explain that in another language that you don't speak and he, just being like it was a big water and I saw it but it wasn't. And I was like, what is that? he saw water? And I, but I put it together and I felt like really proud of myself. And then I remember the mom spoke pretty good English and we were speaking to each other and she was telling me a story and she was like, um, she, she came to this part of the story where she was saying, uh, English, English, uh, ooh, was ist English, was ist English. Like trying to figure out what the word was. And I was like, finally. And she was like, oh, yes. <laughs> she was like, I forgot that you spoke German too. Because <laughs> she was trying to tell me the story like completely in English. And so she was trying to say finally. And she said, endlich, endlich. And I was like, I know that word. 
I felt so proud of myself. She was like, oh, that's right. I totally forgot that you spoke German too. I was like, ah, nur ein bisschen. <laughs> Little bit girl. I don't speak you that much. Definitely don't feel like I have the right to be here because I don't speak that much, but I try. I did try. I miss that trip. I miss it so much. My German teacher did adult tours for like a solid, I know at least like for five years after I graduated, he did adult tours and he would do Italy, he would do France, he would do Germany and Austria and Switzerland. And that's the trip that I went on. It was the Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein trip. And he did that trip as an adult, like with an adult tour group. And I was like, I would give anything to go on that trip. Like as an adult to go back with my German teacher and experience it all again and be able to appreciate it better. And I talked to him about it and he was just like, no, like do a different trip. You've already done that one. Like do something different. And I was like, I know, but I want to relive it. Who is surprised? Who is surprised that Brooke, Brooke, Brooke wants to relive her past youth? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I am just like, I'm so me <laughs> all the time. I am so me. It just never ends. I, why am I so obsessed with reliving my past? I don't know. I literally don't know. I could not tell you uh, in so many ways that are just like unhealthy. <laughs> Some are healthy. Some are like, you know, nurturing my inner child and others are just like, let's return to this stage of my life that I'm strangely nostalgic for, even though it was a really bad time. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I saying? So, oh yeah. And, but I don't know if he does tours anymore. I think that like COVID probably pushed him into a retirement because he had already retired from like teaching at school. He retired teaching German and then just did the adult tours. And so he was already retirement age then to do the tours for like five more years. I don't even know if he's still doing them. He's probably not. He's probably enjoying his retirement as he deserves. But still, I'm just like, could you just go on one more trip with me? <laughs> oh, I love my German teacher. I loved him. He was the best. He was truly the best. <sighs> I threw him a retirement party. It was the year, I think the year after I graduated, he retired. And so I was like, okay. I made an event on Facebook and I... I was like, invite anybody that you know from previous years who graduated from, or who went and like, who were, who were in his German class. So I was like, even people from the eighties, like if your parents went to his German class, if you know, your older siblings or your cousins or people you knew, like if they had German with him, invite them please. And I don't remember how many people showed up, but it was really fun and a really good party and I think he really appreciated it. I think he really did and I hope that he still remembers it fondly and remembers that I hosted it and stuff. I hope so anyway. He probably does, he was a very thoughtful man. So I wonder if he ever thinks about Heidi, that's me. And he's like, oh, I wonder what Heidi's doing. He'd probably be not surprised at all, I would say. Probably not surprised in any way that I just sit and talk to myself in a camera and yearn for the good old days 24 hours a day. He probably would not be surprised. <sighs> I like how this vlog started as me being like, ah, the, the past. And then it went to me being like, oh, the past. <laughs> oh, ain't that just the past though? That's just how the past works. Copperoonie, everybody's losing their shit. They don't know what to do. Are you coming over or not, bro? Okay, bye. Like I tried, I even pulled over to a stop to let you over. 
what a weirdo. Some people just, they, they drive so strangely. I'm just, I just don't get it. Ooh, what is that? It looks like a cemetery, but there are no gravestones. It says it's a Grand View Funeral Home and Burial Park. What's the difference? I've never heard of a burial park. It's not a cemetery. It's not a graveyard. It's a burial park. I'll have to do a Google. I'll have to do a Google on that. Since there were copper roonies, I better slow down to the appropriate. Well, now again, it says it was 55 and now it says 65. What is it? What is it? Somebody help. <laughs> Somebody help me. I'm stuck in 2009. I need help. I'll figure out what what it is eventually, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, CJ is not feeling well. I don't know what exactly is wrong. He just says his throat hurts. But he gets sick all the time and I never do. So it's I don't I'm not worried about me. Cause I the only reason I bring up me, okay, is number one, because I'm selfish and extremely narcissistic. Excuse me. Oh my god, embarrassing. But also, because I'm the one like going on this trip and I have to work on this trip and see somebody on this trip, so I would like to not get sick, right? He's just sitting at home, so it's fine. But um, yeah, I am not feeling any type of ill, which is good. But that's, again, common because he gets sick all the time. I feel like this year he's actually been on a pretty good streak where he hasn't been very sick. But like a couple years ago, Man, you could not keep him healthy for longer than like two weeks. It was crazy. You know, he's had, CJ has had COVID three times. Three times. You know how many times I've had COVID? Zero. You know how many times he's had COVID and like not known for days beforehand? And we've gone on, we've been, we've been doing the kissing. We've been doing the kissing. We've been doing the sleeping in the same bed. We've been doing the mm -hmm. And I still didn't get sick. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, the first time he had COVID, we were driving home cross country from California to Minnesota and he was feeling so sick. He was just ill for days. And I was like, dude, we've got to go. So we ended up leaving and we were driving home and we got to Arizona and we stopped, we got a Red Bull or a, an energy drink. He got a Red Bull, I got a Celsius and he took a sip of his Celsius and he, or his Red Bull and he was just like, Brooke, I don't taste this Red Bull. And I was like, shut up, no way. And he was like, I don't, I can't smell it. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, this is the first time he had ever gotten it. And we were still at the gas station. So he was like, I'm going to go get more stuff. So he grabbed a pickle, one of those big fat pickles. Cause he hates pickles. You guys, he hates them. And he grabs this big fat pickle and he takes a bite and he was like, I don't taste it. And I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we found out that he had COVID and he had had COVID for like four days at this point. He tested positive and um, sure enough, he had COVID and we were like, oh my God, we are stuck in a truck and a camper together for the next like three weeks. Me and Rosie are going to get sick. Like there's no way we could not get sick sitting in a car with you with this person who has COVID who's like hawking up like nasty stuff and like coughing and it was like germ filled like a, we were in a petri dish and we still didn't get sick so I'm just saying like when the apocalypse comes find me and make a cure from my blood because I really watch I get COVID now <laughs> that would totally happen to me too but no like I I genuinely think Maybe not that I'm immune, but just that like, 
Yeah, I think I'm immune. I really do. Because how could I be with somebody who's gotten it three times? And Rosie has never gotten it either. Rosie and me have, have been around CJ. Rosie and I have been around CJ every time he's had COVID. Nothing. So, I don't know. <sighs> Sounds like immunity to me. <coughs> Allergies. Okay, bless me. Not COVID. Gesundheit. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys make of that? Ha okay, way down, if you're still here at 35, 36 minutes, way down in the comments, have you had COVID yet? And if you have, how many times? Because, like, everybody I know has had it at least once, if not multiple times. So, I don't know. Oh, it is 65 here. Son of a bee. I've been going 55. That's so lame. Could have been going 10 miles an hour faster. But, yeah, and, like, the people who I know who have had COVID, almost all of them have had it a few times. Like... So it seems like the people who get COVID are more susceptible to getting COVID again, which doesn't make sense, but it does. I don't know. I ain't no scientist or nothing. I am just a, I'm just a big nerd on the internet. That's it. Just a big nerd. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Ow, I just had a pain. I just had a pain in my in my rib, in my left rib. Do you ever get that? Just like a sharp, random pain, like in your chest, your head, your ribs, or whatever, where it's just like, ow! Like somebody just like stabbed me. That's where it's like voodoo, you know? Which one of you? Which one of you, mother? <laughs> Which one of you bastards has a voodoo doll of me? You're just messing with me, I can tell. I can tell, I feel it feel it in my spirit. <laughs> well, this vlog was a whole bunch of not shit. <laughs> this is a whole bunch of nothing. Isn't it crazy, you guys? I'm not even like trying to be funny. Isn't it crazy, you guys, how I'm literally the loudest person you have ever met? Ever? And I do ASMR videos. That's odd to me. It's odd. It's very Gemini of me to be the loudest person in the room who also simultaneously can be the quietest person in the room. And then like, I am a, I gotta tell you a secret. I'm a flatulent gal. I'm flatulent, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about that. And so CJ is always like telling me the, op the thing too where it's like the opposites. He's like, you make candles that smells so good. It's your job to make people's homes smell good. And you smell so bad. <laughs> because I'm flatulent. You know. <laughs> it's funny though. I don't think I've ever flatulated in front of like my friend Rochelle. And I've known her since I was seven. I don't think I've ever farted in front of her. So I'm good at like keeping it at bay. But when I'm just with Bay and nobody else, flatulator. That's me, I'm flatulator. I feel comfortable saying this because who's gonna still be here at 39 minutes? Oh shit, you're here? Ah! I'm so embarrassed. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's just, it's all part of the character that I play here on the internet. It's not real. It's not real. I'm fake. I'm a fake girl. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like these couple days of me driving in the car with you are making me even more comfortable to be like my true self. Not that I'm not. Like, here's the thing. Excuse me. You know how... Stop. You know how um, I know... I, I struggle to say this because anybody who says like, I'm so real <laughs> is such a fake bitch. You know what I mean? So I don't want you guys to get that impression. Oh my God. I'm like literally crying because <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm so funny. But, um, 
I, I, so I, I hesitate to say, oh, I'm so real, but you know that I am because like people in my real life watch these videos, I've come to find out, and none of them are ever like, oh my God, she's so fake. Like, it's just, it's like you're sitting in my kitchen with me having a conversation. That's why sometimes I'm kind of down and I'm just like, yeah, I'm having a bad day and this sucks and I'm feeling really negative and I really apologize, but I am and this is what you get today. And then other days I'm like this where I'm like, ha, 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 you know, it's just, it's all part of just being a real, real person. We all have days where we're more up and we're more down, but I definitely feel freer to laugh with you and tell jokes with you. And I feel like I have inside jokes with you. I'm, t I'm it is not lost on me that I am literally sitting in my car talking to myself. It's not, but I feel you here. And I picture you here when I talk to you. It's not, I don't just view it as me talking to myself, to my camera. Like that's what it is if you want to be real, but I picture you being here. So I feel like I'm not alone. I picture you sitting at my kitchen table with me and having a conversation or um, having a glass of wine with me and talking or having a caffeinated beverage with me sitting in my car and we're on a road trip together talking shit like that's how I feel this is so thank you for allowing me that and giving me the connection and the companionship and the friendship that clearly I need and I crave we all do I just wish that you could talk back tell me stories and that's why it's so important. Like when you leave me a comment, it's not only good for the algorithm, it's also good for me because I'm like, oh my God, like they're, they hear me, they're talking to me, they're sharing something with me. Even if I don't respond right away, it means a lot to me. It really, really does. So thank you for including yourself in my life. It, it's very special. I'm a lucky girl. I'm a lucky girl. I really am. So, with that being said, this is a 42 minuter, so I better call it a day. I'll get back on in a little while and chat with you. I have 775 miles left to go, 11 hours and 40 minutes, but we'll see how much I do today. I don't have a goal of like, this is where I wanna be today, but I just have a goal of like, I want to go until like seven or eight. That's my goal. If seven comes around and I'm like still wide awake, then I'll go till eight. But otherwise I would like to get to the hotel and get settled around seven. That way I can do my nails and have time and um, pamper myself a little bit and all of that. Like I would like to have that time tonight and not get there at eight settle in by 8 30 start my shower at 9 do my nails at 9 30 like be up super late I that's not ideal so it's my goal to go until 7 today we'll see what happens but right now it is 12 40 and we are on our way we will go the distance I don't care how far somehow I'll stay awake I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel like I belong. Uh oh, she's starting to get emotional again. <laughs> you guys later. I love you. I appreciate you being here and uh, thanks for thanks for listening to this one. You're a real one, Mr. Grinch. You really are. Thank you. Bye.